Hey guys, April 13th, 2017, and this is day six of my early wake up challenge. Luck favors the prepared. I know one of those sayings, but today it actually has some meaning. Let me explain. A few weeks ago, we started a partnership with a Amazon seller who has around 30,000 products. So your first reaction is probably something like sweet, but that's just part of the story because along with more products goes more complexity. So I had to adjust processes, scale up our IT infrastructure and a lot of other details, but I don't want to bore you with those. So why am I smiling? Well, one out of many important processes is to add new keywords to your campaigns. And the problem is that a keyword can be invalid, for example, if it contains certain special characters. Well, as far as I know, there is no list provided by Amazon containing all of those forbidden characters. So in the past, we just added each keyword individually so that we could test whether that keyword is valid or invalid. Well, but if you've got 30,000 products, then this process is not really practical. It would take forever to do that. So I adjust the process and now with a single API request we are adding 1000 keywords. Pretty big difference. But the invalid keyword problem remains. So today I solved this with a little program and I'm smiling like this because the program does not only detect individual forbidden characters but it also detects forbidden or well let's say reserved words. For example, the keyword Kindle is reserved by Amazon, so you cannot add that keyword to your campaigns. So why is that good news? For two reasons. First reason is, as a seller, you have to continuously optimize your products. And by knowing forbidden keywords, well, reserved keywords and forbidden special characters, your optimization process just becomes more efficient. And reason number two is, that a reserved keyword is basically a white spot on a map and analyzing the borders around those white spots can be very interesting. We will see. But for now, let's talk about the other two criteria to evaluate the challenge. Criterion number one, physical and mental state. Well, as always, if I've got a good day at work, then I'm happy in general, so check. And criterion number two, the relationship with my girlfriend. I haven't seen her for two days, but that's about to change in a minute. And that's the reason why I have to say goodbye. Have a good evening and talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye.